When you're creating a database table, it's a good idea to have a primary key as one of the columns. The primary key constraint specifies that the column has unique rows. Typically, a column such as ID is made the primary key. And also, so that you don't have to worry about always providing an ID every time a new row is added, and you don't want to worry about duplicating an ID, you can auto-increment it. And that's done by just entering auto-increment after the column for the primary key, and then specifying the primary key with the keywords primary key on the bottom with the column that you want to be the primary key in parentheses. So let's create a primary key in our table. And you can, if you already have an existing table, you don't have to drop the table and recreate it with a primary key. You can use the alter table statements to specify the primary key and update your existing table as well. Let's try this out. I'm here in MySQL Workbench where we're gonna create a database table. We're gonna assign a column as a primary key and then we're going to test out the auto increment feature. So let's create a table called song, which has an ID, which is a small int, and is unsigned, and we want it to auto increment. Also, there's some feature of MySQL Workbench, which does some auto complete for you. So auto increment. Artist of the song is a bar char 100. And then the song and the title is also a bar char 100. And to set the primary key, primary key as ID. And that should create our table. So let's insert some data into our song table. Insert into song. Then we'll specify the columns, artist, and the title. And specify the values. Say artist Michael Jackson. Title Thriller. All right, there's one song. And notice that I didn't specify the ID. So let's see if it gives it an ID for me automatically. So let's select star from song and see if that song is in there after I inserted it. Let's run that. Run this statement, select star, which means select everything from the song table. And there's Michael Jackson Thriller and ID number one. Let's add one more song. Let's just copy this. Let's just, you know, oops, what did I just do? Yeah, so let's copy this code, paste it down here, and change it to Billy Jean. Run this statement. Okay, so that was inserted in there. Let's make sure it's in there. It's like everything from song. And now Billy Jean and Thriller are both in, both in there and ID auto incremented for us from one to two, and you can see that it'll just keep going up. So that is how you create a primary key in your database table.